everyone, welcome back to another figure review. We've got the vintage collection Cal Kestis from Jedi Survivor. This is a pretty reasonably new release. I did do a review already um, for this figure on the Kessel Run Hair and Collectibles channel, which is my place of work. And uh, yeah, we're doing the, doing the odd toy review here. And we do have these in stock. Excuse the dog in the background. Um, we do have these in stock right now at Kessel Run Hair and Collectibles dot com or kessrunhair.com both will take you there i'll put a link in the description it's number 265 just reviewed the luke cassian coming right up these vader and obi-wan have been done uh, just scroll back through shouldn't be too far even though it was probably three or four months ago at this point um but yeah really love the card art on this one looks nice really looking forward to this game Yeah, cow BD. Unfortunately, the little BD doesn't fit on his back anyway on this figure, which is a bit of a bummer, but hopefully the Black Series version does. So yeah, we'll just sit that there to the side and we'll take a look at his accessories. Um, so yeah, obviously he has a blaster pistol. So cow has had to sort of adapt to his world and surroundings and... Uh, yeah, it doesn't want to. Doesn't want to show up, but that's okay. We'll get by. So it does fit nicely in his holster there. Maybe if I get rid of that, it'll want to focus on what I'm holding. There we go. That's much better. So yeah, the pistol nicely in there. Lit lightsaber blade. So it is sort of a tweaked, fixed, repaired version of his blade from Jedi Fallen Order. So he's obviously put a little bit of time and reworked the hilt, even though in the game it looks like you're going to be able to choose multiple styles and variations of combat. It does come with a unlit hilt, which will peg onto his belt as well. And that's actually a really nice sort of snug fit in there. And it's not going anywhere. So cow's rocking the barbell joints in the in the upper thighs there, in the groin groinal region, crotchal crotchal position crotchal <laughs> I don't know um, and BD1 which is an awesome little little dude doesn't have the same articulation as his Black Series counterpart but considering the size it's all good he's got him at the sort of body joints and a little ball and socket head there but yeah like I said nowhere, nowhere to sort of mount him onto Cow's back which is a little bit of a bummer but it's not the end of the world. You could always just put a spot of blue tack and just sort of stick him on there if you wanted to. But in terms of figure, I think I think they've done a really good job. Pretty solid lightness of Cameron Monaghan there. A little bit of a little bit of sort of five o'clock shadow there. Good. I hope you can't pick up much of the noise. I've got dogs barking and a neighbour mowing the lawn. <laughs> but I'm really dug digging his outfit. He's still sticking with the sort of utilitarian, you know, ease of access, protection sort of outfit. You know, sort of standard pants, boots, sleeved shirt and a, and a vest. It just makes things nice and easy for him, just in terms of combat. Sort of a risk wrist communicator thing there I assume but yeah he's got all the good articulation but yeah really really looking forward to I don't know hopefully some more characters um, this time around given that you know this is the first three and three quarter inch Cal Kestis we've had We've had a couple of Black Series releases. Um, one was more or less just sort of a repaint of the original. Um, so yeah, really only one, one of each scale. So hopefully some more will come out for the second game. I think, I think it would be very much appreciated by the fans and collectors to get a few more characters from the game. I think it would be yeah, it's a no-brainer, you know. 
being able to have figure before the game comes out is just even more awesome. It's just sort of you already have that sort of familiarity with the with the character and the look, and by the time you jump in and play the game, it'll be um, you know you feel like you sort of get to know him already. So that, that's kind of cool. I'm looking forward to that. Um, I do have the game pre-ordered. I haven't got a PlayStation Five yet, but that will come in the next few weeks. <laughs> I've got to make sure I've got it before the game comes out. So yeah, I've got about five or six weeks, so that's not a problem at all. But yeah, it's a nice figure. He's got great articulation, great posability. You know, he looks good. The paint apps are all pretty clean. No sort of super glossy anything on it. It's all. It all looks nice. And again, BD1, get a quick look at him as again. Really nicely detailed considering the size. He is pretty small. I do have some blue tack on his foot. <laughs> so there's Cal Kestis and BD1 from Jedi Fallen Order. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts. About Jedi, Fall, Jedi Fallen Order, Jedi Survivor, anything like that. It'd be awesome to hear from you. So yeah, stay tuned. I'll be back very, very soon with some more. Again, it's good to be back. <laughs> uh, miss all the miss all the chit chat with all the with all the folks out there. It's it's awesome fun. So looking forward to getting back into it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you again very soon. Until then, may the force be with you.